Instead, they're trying a new talking point. Illegal immigrants are terrific people, every single one of them, far more noble and law-abiding than you are. How dare you complain about their presence? You must be a bigot. The one problem with this line of argument is that it's vulnerable to facts. But until recently, there really were few reliable numbers on crimes committed by illegal immigrants. And this allowed Democrats to pretend that every person who sneaks across our border goes on to become a heart surgeon or a member of SEAL Team 6. We've got the data now, and it turns out, surprise, surprise, they've been lying to you. In the border state of Arizona, for example, illegal immigrants commit two and a half times as many murders as American citizens do. They're almost 50% more likely to be in gangs. They commit more armed robbery and more sex crimes against children. Overall, they're about twice as likely to be convicted of crimes of all kinds, non-immigration related. And that's just in one state. In California, an illegal alien named Luis Brasamantes murdered two police officers. Brasamantes had been deported from this country multiple times. In each case, he came back, thanks to politicians who have zero interest in keeping people like him out. In court this Tuesday, Brasamantes bragged about his plans to escape from prison and murder more. By immigration, okay, you're and not we have so it. many stories okay. in this community. So I know stories, but I'm looking for facts, and I think it's fair to ask for facts. So John Lott, who's a researcher, a social scientist, got a hold of the conviction numbers, which the government of the state of Arizona has hidden from the population because it's lying to the population about the effects of immigration, as you know. And he found that illegal immigrants in the state of Arizona were more than twice as likely to commit murder and overall far more likely to commit crimes of all kinds, not immigration crimes, but violent and property crimes. So given that, those are facts, how can you reassure the residents, the legal residents of Arizona of all backgrounds that this is good for them? I don't understand. We and cities throughout our community have seen great success stories when people feel like they can work with the police department and there's trust. So we've had folks who um, did not have legal immigration status but were willing to work with our police department and have been very important in helping us particularly with drug related crimes. Okay, but but, but do, you acknowledge, are you, do you acknowledge the reality of what I just said? So this study which got a hold of Arizona state numbers, which I think are legitimate, says that people illegally in Arizona are far more likely to commit serious crime. Do you not believe that? Are you just ignoring it or what's your response to that? So I just received the arrest and crime data from mm -hmm. the last calendar year, 2017, for the city of Phoenix. And right. that wasn't what we found in the city of Phoenix. Unfortunately, violent crime was led by people who live here and who were but that's born not, here. That's not the question. And were people who were there illegally more likely or less likely to commit serious crimes in the city of Phoenix? Are you really saying they were less likely? I don't think that's what the numbers show. Our 2017 numbers tell a very different story than the story that that researcher is telling you. So are you saying, just to be totally clear, because we're almost out of time, are you saying that you've seen numbers that in the city of Phoenix, people here illegally were less likely to commit serious crimes than citizens? Is that what you're saying? I just want to get you on the record. I'm saying com we need comprehensive immigration reform and oh. it will help Oh, oh you're slipping out of the question. I, I'm asking a very simple question and you're not giving me a real answer and I think that tells the whole story. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.